Yeah, hi. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. It is time for your late night AEW Dynamite review. We're back at Vince and not back over the fuck. Like, who the fuck cares? No matter what night, it's stupid, okay? People say, like, oh, it's a problem that they're on Friday nights. Like, what's the difference? Oh, they're on Saturdays and shit, you know. What's the fucking difference there? You know what I mean? People say Saturday night's better than Fridays. People go out and party Saturday nights, too. And besides, for God's sake, again, there's really shouldn't be a, a reason. A, a, back in the day, Saturday night main event was a thing. People watch Saturday night main event. Uh, fucking SmackDown. People were watching SmackDown. I don't know how is that a fucking excuse that they couldn't stay up to watch, like, AEW, you know what I mean? Like, how is that an excuse? Maybe, like, fucking, how is that an excuse? You know what I mean? Like, fuck it, that's a problem. You know, like, if that, if people say it's a problem that, oh, how come people are not watching, because maybe because the show sucks? I don't fucking know. So, uh, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, Wednesday nights. Yeah, one of the most boring nights in history. And we'll add a, another boring show to make your... Because who the fuck likes Wednesdays, for God's sake? Wednesdays so boring, right? I get it. Like, that's what a TV show should want you to enjoy. Like, they should try to add some enjoyment. But who the fuck should waste their time with AEW Dynamite? Oh, I'm sorry, WWE Dynamite because of Jim Ross. Uh, cheers, motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cheers. Cheers, motherfuckers. So let's talk about AEW. Uh, before I start, subscribe to the Wrestling Jesus. He's back and he's better than ever. Uh, that's why I haven't did this review earlier because I was working on that that freaking video. And basically, I wanted I was doing other shit and I wanted to give my time, give some time before I upload this review. But hey, it is what it is. I didn't want to upload the WJ video tomorrow, so it'll be like out of date. I want this guy wanted to get his subscribers back. Don't get me wrong, I get it. Him deleting his channel is not always good, but whatever it is, what it is. That's the beauty of WJ. Alright, so let's talk about fucking WWE. Uh, or not, yeah, WWE Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, it's WWE Dynamite, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so, um, I, I, feel, I mean, I feel bad for Jim Ross. The guy clearly misses WWE. Or just unfortunately, he has, you know, a uh, fucking mental, like, not mental, like, you know, he's getting that slow. But for God's sake, he knows this sh that shit is probably better than this crap. And apparently he called Kenny Omega the WWE Champion as well. So, it is what, it's pretty funny. Isn't that sad that the funniest thing about the show, the only entertaining thing, is Jim Ross, for God's sakes, in his commentary? Whatever. So Jericho joins the commentary team. It starts with him like coming out, like he didn't talk. It's just him coming out to join the fucking commentary team. You have to devote something for him to be in commentary. Like he could just be on commentary, but whatever. We had to get the fucking Smarks singing the stupid theme song. So first match: Pentagon Junior and what is it? Isn't or some other name that he has now? And Eddie Kingston, that fucking queer, uh, the like, who you know. He's this fucking fat fuck who like who's like trying to hang in a bodega, think he's gangster and shit. Um, shit entrance. They defeated the Young Bucks in a long, boring ass match that no one cares of. Frankie Kazarian gets involved in the match because of fucking the little, I don't know the Good Brothers or whatever. Fucking who gives a shit? So yeah. So they save the they save fucking them. I don't know. I'm guessing they're trying to make Kazarian a star now. Like, what the fuck? Whatever it is, what it is. Then we got Christian consoling um, Jungle Boy. It, it, it kind of gave me heel vibes. Like, why does he care so much about Jungle Boy? Or whatever. It gave me, like, is he turning heel? Or, like, why is he trying to be, like, so f friendly? Like, you know what I mean? It's like trying to be close. Like, they're, they're brothers. Like, you don't know this guy. But whatever it is, what it is, is stupid. Then the Jurassic Express, like, thanks Christian for supporting him. And then fucking, you got the fucking Luchasaurus guy. It's like, you know, ah, oh, you know, you, 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 you kind of relate in dinosaur language or something. It's like, what the fuck is this? It's it's retarded. It's stupid. You know what I mean? Fucking fans would crap if WWE makes a dinosaur joke, but it's okay in AEW. You know what I mean? 
Then Ethan Page says that he tried to cripple Darby Allen. But Darby just kept getting back up and then it would like go end their shit in a coffin match. Then Sting came out with a coffin, which was Darby Allen in it. And then Dar Darby attacks Ethan Page, he targeted his eyes, and they decided to fucking cancel the then Ethan Page decided to cancel the match uh, next week. Apparently this was cancelled because they're gonna be in yeah. I mean aren't they always gonna be in Florida for some reason? I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, they decided to cancel their coffin match, apparently uh, one of the reasons is because of the whole Miami situation. Isn't I don't think it's in Miami. It's just reality is in Florida. What happened? The whole fucking co co condo damage. You know, people lo losing their lives because of the whole co condo collapse, which is very sad. God bless their families. Rest in peace. But like, <laughs> they're still gonna do it. Like, but whatever it is, what it is. I mean, they're gonna do it at a fight a fest though. Yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, it's great Sting Sting, but they give shit about the jobbers, you know what I mean? Then Jungle Boy got his 50th win! Like, who the fuck gives a shit? Defeats some jobber. This match was, like, longer than it needed to be. And then A-H-O, A-H-F-O, -A what the fuck is that supposed to be? Apparently that's Hardy's, Matt Hardy's fucking team or something. That's dumb. They try to attack Jungle Boy, but then the Jurassic Express and Christian fights him off. Christian basically fights off, uh, fights off with Matt Hardy. That's like sad, the only decent thing I, I watched and I saw. Because that's like, you know, it's Matt Hardy and Christian, right? You know, that's sadly better than a lot of these wrestling stuff. You know what I mean? Because who the fuck gives you about these jobbers, right? But it is what it is. It's just like, wow, this is what you could do. This is the exciting thing to do Matt Hardy versus Christian. Like, it's like, come on here. It wasn't even that interesting when they tried to have an interaction, I believe, back in, what, 2010? Because remember, they were, like, both could be in, like, the ladder match. And that match where Kane won. Or whatever it is, what it is. Andrade, because of stupid promo, which he just basically speaks Espanol, or a fuck. This guy can't talk for shit, can't speak Spanish. Like, I don't know, he's just speaking Spanish, whatever. It's not even interesting. Like, no one fucking cares. It's like, oh, I'm all elite. I'm the best in the world. Like, it's like generic fucking promo. And he says, who the face that met something? Like, sure, he's something. Like, he's somebody that nobody knows. But like, so do you, you motherfucker. Who the fuck really knows who the fuck you are? Aside from smarts that pretend to know who the fuck you are just because, like, you know, you left the DNA or some fucking former W guy. Like, who the fuck cares? And they're gonna face each other next week at World Rager. What the fuck does that mean, Road Ranger? Like, fuck. Kill yourselves. You're fucking garbage. You fucking show. Then K-Mega cuts a shit promo. Say he's out. He defeated everyone or whatever the fuck. It's like, it's like a less entertaining Roman. It's basically cutting the same promo that Roman Reigns has cut it. But, like, we're supposed to believe this is better. Oh, yeah. Fucking, I forgot to say. The Elite team. Everybody in the Elite were growing, like, weird mouth, mouth stash. I was, like, thinking to myself, why? They're wide, like... Why are like having fake mouth stash and shit like that? It's like weird. But who fuck cares? Like it doesn't make any difference. Like there's shit. Um, then the Dark Order came out and Evil Uno, yeah, this jobber team, says, "Oh, we may can't beat you, or no one can beat you, but there's one guy you can." And then people, and then they're chanting for Hangman Page, and people saying, "Oh, this is long term storytelling." <laughs> oh yeah, long term storytelling, guys. Wow, so happened to be one little thing. You know what I mean? Just because... One little thing. And apparently that's long term... You know how fucking smarts? They kept bringing up this idea about long-term storytelling. Like, how is this really long-term storytelling? If really, it just is so... Could, like, what is it? So, what's the word? Consent... Uh, I'm trying to find out the word. I, ch I can't really... Like, coincidentally... That guy is the fucking champion, and he joins the fuck. I don't know. It's dumb. It is what it is. Like, it's not like they're refuting each other or had any reaction since their breakup. Like, who the fuck cares? People pretend like when they talk about long-term storytelling. Well, what's the latest excuse of long-term storytelling? Fucking, I'm trying to remember about long-term. Yeah, fuck it. Kenny Omega and his and Don Callis. Apparently, that's long-term storytelling. Even though, like, it. 
They never really interact in AEW or fuck. Apparently that's long-term storytelling. Or fuck is some stupid shit that Chris Jericho tries to say like all oh, his inner circle. He their best friends or something. That's long-term storytelling. It's retarded. You're making up excuses to pretend that people think this is long-term storytelling. Just saying here. What's next is gonna be long-term storytelling? Like what? What is it? Everything's long-term storytelling, apparently. Oh, Eddie Kingston and Dean Ambrose—they're teaming up together. That's long-term storytelling. That it's so stupid. Everything apparently is long-term storytelling. We tend that there's a story, yet there's no real story besides they teamed up together. Who the fuck cares? They never even really interacted since then. Like who fuck cares? You want to talk about long-term storytelling? Look at Hulk Hogan and Sting back in the NWO days in WCW. That's long-term storytelling. They interacted since they came back and shit. For God's sake. That's long-term storytelling. Well, it's like a recent long-term storytelling. You know the thing is with wrestling nowadays? There's barely anything that's long-term storytelling. Because everything in wrestling sucks now. There's no stories and characters and shit. All these matches are the same shit. Who the fuck cares about a future Hangman Page and Kenny Omega match? These might as well go hang themselves because they suck. Don't really hang yourselves, though. Come on, don't do that. It's not good. Don't commit suicide. Miro gets a new theme song and beats Brian Pillman Jr. to retain the TNT title. Isn't that long? Is that long-term storytelling, right, guys? Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be in the wrestling company because it's for his father or something. That That's some stupid excuse I'm going to say about long-term storytelling. You know what I mean? Miro is like apparently the great God's greatest creation or something. I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. I don't give a shit about the match. God bless Miro though. God bless Brian Pillman Jr. Like I don't really like. I don't know who the fuck. He has no actual character yet. I get it. He's just starting. But like whatever. It is what it is. God bless him though. Hangman Page confronts the Dark Order. Said why the fuck they said we were scared. But then fucking Dark Order says like. No we believe in you or whatever. Like who the fuck cares. Like shut up. You know what I mean? It's just, he's teaming with jobbers. What the fuck? They're, all of them are fucking jobbers. And we're supposed to pretend to care. This is like the less, uh, less fucking... It's such a down... Uh, first of all, the Dark Ori was always a joke. The fact that Luke Harper joined was so fucking dumb anyways. You know, God bless Luke Harper. It was already a fucking dumb fucking faction. This is like a l lesser... This is like a more dumber version with Tangman Page, for God's sake. Who the fuck cares? It's a dumb faction. They're jobbers. Taz says neither Brian P Cage or Ricky Starks are here and their relationship is toxic for Team Taz. Taz says that July 14, Cage will, will be medically cleared. Starks, uh, well, wait, wait, so fucking Cage versus Ricky Starks will happen for the FTW. What? Didn't they have any? They didn't have any interaction. Like, did they like break up with a fuck? Like, I don't get it. What the fuck? I don't even know anymore. I don't care. It's just dumb. I don't even give a shit. Britt Baker and Rebel defeated Nyla Rose and Vicky Guerrero. I'm surprised Vicky Guerrero was wrestling. I, I thought she was gonna like. Why is she wrestling? Really? Like, she's wrestling. But then fucking Nyla Rose power bomb fucking Britt Baker committed domestic violence. Yeah. That's 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 what we want apparently. We want a disgusting tranny who makes seductive faces and whatever fuck. Apparently that's what we want with trains for God's sakes. Yeah, fuck trains. So wow, next week Road Rager, Cody Rhodes versus Q T Marshall in a strap match. No way to the the fucking build up to this match, who cares? Uh, Andrade versus Matt Seidel. Orange casting Chris Stanley versus the Blade and Alley in a mixed tag match. Um, the Young Bucks versus Pentagon Jr. Eddie Kingston next week to tag titles. And FTR Rolo versus Satana Ortiz and J.K. Gray K. Jack Swagger. Dra Jack Swagger and the, and the fucking Inner Circle are cutting a promo. We got fucking Jack Swagger punching the wall for some reason. He's like trying to be tough. It's like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? Whatever, it's dumb. The main event, MJF defeats Sammy Guevara with the help of Warlow and Sean Spears. During this match, like, yeah, this was your basically your typical long, boring-ass match with no story, no actual... I mean, okay, sure, story, sure. I can't take that back. There's... It's just a shit story, because who the fuck gives shit about MJF, whatever. They're a bunch of jobbers still. And they're doing these false finishes matches, false finish, long, boring-ass match. They're taking cool wrestler moves... 
that and ruining them kicking out two. They did a tombstone pile driver, I believe, and they kick out a two. Like, what the fuck are you doing? For God's sakes! Like, seriously, stop with the false fit. Stop using cooler wrestlers' moves and ruining them. And I don't fucking know. Fucking MJF won because of the chair. Because of fucking the chairman. Whatever. Who cares? Jericho got knocked out. Where the fuck? And then they sh end the show with fucking uh, the fans, and they, they did like a video package for AEW. Uh, they're highlighting, oh, it's the pandemic era, the end of the pandemic era. Like, we want to highlight, and they're highlighting jobbers and shit like that, jobber shit that happened. Like, listen. I, I get it, this pandemic era, yeah, dang the fan, okay. But why you gotta do a fucking video package? This is what you wouldn't do back in the day, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? You're supposed to pretend like fucking this shit doesn't... I don't fucking... I don't care. I don't know. It is what it is. I just think it's like... It's not necessary. Because they're saying goodbye to Daly's place. Like, who the fuck cares about Daly's place? It's a gay place, for God's sake. Anyways, fucking... That that happened. The Tune in next week for WWE Dynamite. That's like the highlight of the entire show. Di WWE Dynamite. That's literally the highlight. Because who the fuck gives a shit about fucking AEW? Fucking shit. I mean, WWE sucks, but that's like the funniest thing tonight. You know what, JR? Come home to Raw, okay? Or come home fucking just WWE in general. And maybe you'll be more respected than fucking Kenny Omega and fucking all these guys who fucking say shit about you that fucking if you don't like fucking Kenny Omega better than Orton or whatever fuck. Alright, I'm tired. Sorry if this review was like fucking... I was just saying stupid shit because I don't care. Alright, I'm tired. Fuck, fuck AEW. It's garbage. Oh, but they're going to go on the road again or whatever. Like, who cares? Everyone's going to the road again. <laughs> and they all suck. I am just keep real people. Drink your cold, some magnificent shit like that. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Alright. I end the show. End it, fuck. I got high testing, okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking stupid, people. I'm fucking retarded. This everything's fucking retarded. Fuck AEW there. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. WWE Dynamite there.